गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एलिमेंट्स ऑफ जावा ओके सो हियर फाइव एलिमेंट्स आर देयर टोकन्स डेटा टाइप्स वेरिएबल्स स्टेटमेंट एंड ब्लॉक सो फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट टोकन वॉट इज टोकन इट इज द स्मॉलेस्ट मीनिंगफुल यूनिट ऑफ जावा प्रोग्राम देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ टोकन्स एज यू कैन सी इट इज लिस्टेड बिलो की वर्ड्स आइडेंटिफायर्स लिटरल्स ऑपरेटर्स एंड पंक्चुएटर्स फर्स्ट इज की वर्ड सो वॉट इज की वर्ड स्पेशल वर्ड्स विच कन्वे सम स्पेशल मीनिंग टू जावा कंपाइलर दे के नॉट बी यूज फॉर एनी अदर पर्पज ओके सो की वर्ड्स आर इफ फॉर वाई सो मेनी की वर्ड्स आर देयर सो दीज की वर्ड्स आर द स्पेशल सिम्बॉल विच हैज स्पेशल मीनिंग एंड वी के नॉट यूज इट एज अ वेरिएबल एनी वेयर ओके नोट आर रिटर्न इन ओनली स्मॉल एल्फाबेट्स सो यू टू रिकोगनाइज इट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट इज ओनली रिटर्न इन स्मॉल एल्फाबेट्स जावा इज अ केस सेंसिटिव लैंग्वेज मीनिंग ऑफ दिस हियर इफ यू राइट एनी थिंग एनी लेटर इन कैपिटल और स्मॉल इट विल वेरी कैपिटल लेटर विल बी ट्रीटेड एज डिफरेंट कैरेक्टर एंड स्मॉल लेटर विल बी ट्रीटेड एज द डिफरेंट कैरेक्टर सो फर्स्ट इज की वर्ड देन वॉट इज सेकेंड वन सेकेंड इज आइडेंटिफायर आइडेंटिफायर द यूजर डिफाइंड नेम्स यूज इन साइड अ प्रोग्राम आर नोन एज आइडेंटिफायर्स Example variable names, method names, class name. Children, you have used variables in class सेवन Okay, so variable is one of the example of identifier. Here you will find some rules we have to keep in mind for naming the identifier. These rules are as follows. Keywords cannot be used. Means you cannot write keyword any keyword. Example for For is a keyword and you cannot use it as a variable name or identifier name. Okay, so this is the first rule for naming identifier. Then second is it can contain alphabets. Alphabet means all the alphabets, capital to small a to z, digits zero to nine, and two special characters only we can use. That is underscore sign and dollar sign. In Q Basic also you have seen that these symbols we can use dollar sign and this underscore sign with naming the variable. Okay, and it must not start with a digit. In Q Basic also you have studied Q Basic in that we were not starting any variable name with digit. Here also it will not start it with digit. Should not contain any space. Space the same rule that you were applying with Q Basic here same rule will be followed. should be unique inside a program unique means same variable name you cannot use for two different purposes okay now see valid identifiers valid identifier you see emp1 this is valid because it is not containing any symbol uh, it is not containing a space and it starting with alphabet you can see all the valid identifier uh, you can see dollar sign t dollar m we can write dollar t also we can write only it should not start with digit invalid identifier you see one emp here one the variable is starting with one the identifier is starting with one digits are not allowed then at the rate sign is not allowed then name is space emp here space is not allowed and then for for is a keyword which is not allowed second is literal literal also children you have studied in q basic only two kinds of literals you have studied in q basic children number 1 was variable uh, sorry uh, number 1 was numeric constant and number 2 was string constant so here numeric constant you can see that is 49 and string constant you are seeing rita and a in q basic you were using only one string constant but here little different on it is okay here literals are divided into six parts you can see first is integer literal integer literal means in mathematics as you know all the positive number and negative number come under integers so all are example of constant and uh, all are example of integer constant or integer literal okay and you see real literal real literal will always come with decimal value like 12.9 either positive or negative doesn't matter but real literal will come with decimal value so here different kind of literals are there so, total six you are watching among it numeric literals are integer and real literal and then two literal which is not numeric but and that is 
that you have studied in QBasic string constant. But here string is not only string constant. Here again string is divided into two. That is one is character literal. If we want to use single character. As you can see in the example we will use character literal. And if we want to use more than one character then we will use string literal. Okay string literal is enclosed within double quotation. And character literal is enclosed within single quotation. So these character literal and, and string literal. These are not numeric, non-numeric uh, literal. Two more non-numeric literals are boolean and null literal. These are also not uh, numeric. Okay. So what is boolean literal? Java has two reserved keyword. Three reserved keywords. A three you are watching here. Three reserved literals, not words. Three reserved literals. Okay. For one is true, another is false and third is null. These three are reserved literal. You cannot use it as a variable name or some other purposes. Okay. So boolean literals are true and false and null literals are is null. Okay. When we will explain the program, you will understand its meaning. Next is operator. Operator also you have studied in QBasic. When you were adding two numbers, then in uh, for addition of two number, one arithmetical operator was using. You were using. Okay, so here it is written, these are the special symbols of Java, which when used with operands, trigger some specific action. Not only plus sign, plus, minus, multiply, divide. So all, are, all these are example of operator, arithmetical operator. Some relational operator also we have used in QBasic, here also we will use. Then logical operator also we have used in QBasic, here also we will use. So many operators are there. A ternary operator is there that we will use here. Prefix, postfix operator, unary operator that is uh, prefix, postfix operator, then binary operator, this arithmetical operator, then ternary operator where three operands will use. We will discuss it in the next video. Okay. Now next is punctuator. Here these are special symbols. If we have to separate some different parts of the program, we will use this special symbol. We will use comma, we will use semicolon, colon, curly bracket like this. Okay. So, punctuator use, we will teach you while teaching the programming structure. Okay. So, I hope you have understood this, uh, these elements and one by one all element will be discussed in coming classes. Like operators, we will dis discuss in detail. Like data type, we will discuss in detail. Okay, children. Okay, I hope you have understood this. Thank you so much children.